Number five, verify that the units obtained for the magnetic field strength be in example 24.1 using the equation blah, 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 in fact, Tesla. All right, so here we have magnetic field is going to be a function of the electric field divided by the speed of light or basically the velocity of the wave. It depends on uh, what information you know in the problem. However, the units here don't matter. In other words, the electric field strength will be always uh, volts per meter. The uh, speed of light is then meters per second. All right. So basically, uh, what we need to do here is, why don't we just multiply this numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator? All right, so it'll look just like this then, and we'll try to clean it up a little bit. So this will be times then uh, seconds per meter. So this is volt second per meter squared now. Let's expand on the volt term, right? Now this goes way back when, if you need to take a look at some of the formulas from the prior chapters, please feel free. But this should work out to be now uh, Newton meter per second ampere, that's the units for volt there. And that's going to be then multiplied by seconds. Uh, that's all in the numerator now. So as you can see, what's gonna to happen to the seconds, we'll see you later seconds. And then that's now divided by the meters squared. All right, meters squared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this now up a little bit, I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal of that denominator, get rid of those seconds, okay? So that's gonna be times now one over meters squared. Notice how one of the meters now will cancel. And what you're left with now is you're left with Newtons per ampere meter. And this is indeed the unit of Tesla. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing if you can and liking. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.